What is going on, Asphyxiation Nation? This is Asphyxiated503, and I know I'm coming out with some different videos that I'm used to coming out with, but, and I, I, most people that know me know I hate zombies, but this Call of the Dead zombie map is the funnest thing I have played in a long time. I don't know, I think it's just because it's completely different than just standing in one corner and shooting thousands and thousands of zombies as they come at you. I don't find that fun. However, this having to run around and then trying to figure out new things, I think that that's a lot of fun. And so in this video, I wanted to just go ahead and show you guys how we figured out how to kill George Romero. And so my friend is using the Scavenger, which is the new sniper rifle in the, I guess it's supposed to be like one of the wonder weapons. And it is upgraded. And so you'll, you'll notice in here the sound, it sounds really cool. But what it does is it shoots like sticks of dynamite and it sticks into them. And you'll watch right there and you see how it exploded. And eventually you shoot him enough times and he'll die. And I, I've watched one more video. Um, that said that you can tell his life by the color of his his light <laughs> the little light stock he's got a light pole there that is used for like filmmaking you can tell his how close he is to dying by how bright the blue is and then eventually towards the end it just starts to flicker out and then once it's completely empty you keep on shooting him and shooting him and then he'll die and you'll see that when we do it he kind of just like walks into the water and I don't know, you'll see I'm the one that's supposed to be bringing him out into the water here so that he can continue to shoot him. And for those of you that don't know, if you're not trying to kill him, which we usually don't, this was a once, we're like, let's try this. Um, what you do is when he's mad, all you have to do is just run him through the cold water. And so, right, nope, not yet, he'll die soon. <laughs> but anyways, what you gotta do is you just gotta run him through the cold water. And so one of the strategies we've been having is we'll put two people on one side of the map, and then two people on the other side of the map and then when George Romero gets mad one person will have to be in charge of taking him to the cold water and we usually use the spawn but we're using this one on the back side of the the um the lighthouse where the AK-74 is and so right here let's just go ahead and watch and listen this is where he dies So he gets this like red thing, and he's supposed to drop a death machine and a perks, a perk cola, but for some reason he didn't, so I don't know. But anyways, notice the round, we are round 9 right now, we had a crawler, well here is round 11, and as you can tell we're up on the boat, the second boat, and just doing what we do, <laughs> same group of guys, and you'll see me kill a couple zombies here and turn the corner and there he is he's back so it's round 11 he's back we killed him round 9 is it worth killing him obviously not it took a really long time we shot him a lot of times with that scavenger but you know I don't know it kinda gave us a round off from having to deal with him but I just don't think it's worth the time and the effort to keep on killing him just let him do what he does and then once somebody figures out the point of him, then it'll all be good. <laughs> so anyways, it's been Asphyxiated503, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.